Outrage over Israel's imprisonment of thousands of Palestinians is growing after the death of a prisoner in Israeli custody. The Israeli government claims the prisoner, Arafat Jaradat, died of a heart attack. But no signs of heart failure were found during the autopsy, and a Palestinian doctor who examined Jaradat's body said he saw visible signs of torture. Jaradat was arrested in the occupied West Bank last week for throwing rocks at Israeli settlers. At a news conference in Ramallah, the Palestinian Authority Minister for Prisoner Affairs said Israel is responsible for Jaradat's death. There were visible marks in the autopsy that made it clear that the detainee, Arafat Jaradat, was badly tortured, which caused his immediate death. Israel bears the responsibility for killing him during the interrogation. Jaradat's death sparked protests across the occupied West Bank Sunday. Around 3,000 Palestinian prisoners also refused to eat meals. It was the latest in a series of actions over the plight of Palestinians in Israeli jails. Clashes also erupted in the West Bank Saturday after Israeli settlers shot two Palestinians. The settlers had reportedly encroached on the land of a Palestinian farmer. Israel's pressuring the Palestinian Authority to crack down on the protests ahead of President Obama's visit next month. An Israeli government statement says it's relayed to the PA, quote, an unequivocal demand to calm the territory. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.